Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 2 inch trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that it's something uh, that's gonna work for you. So my first impression of the hitch on the back of the Mitsubishi is, I think it looks really good actually, even though it is for the most part completely visible. You know, it does sit up nice and tight against the bottom of it and does a really good job of blending in. And uh, that's not always the case uh, with hitches that are visible, but on the Outlander, uh, I think it kind of adds to that sporty and outdoorsy look. So I do see some of our Outlander Sport customers using their hitches to do some towing, but the majority of them, generally speaking, really just plan on using um, hitch mounted accessories like a bike rack or cargo carrier and I think this hitch will work out well uh, regardless on what you're doing. If you are using those hitch mount accessories uh, what's really nice about this setup is that it's going to give us awesome clearance. Not only ground clearance like I said before it's nice and tight against the bottom of our vehicle but more importantly bumper clearance. The end of the receiver tube uh, is going to be pretty much flush with our back bumper. Matter of fact it kind of comes out just a little bit and what that's going to allow you to do is use pretty much any type of folding accessory and be able to store in that upright position and not have uh, to worry about it making contact with the back of your Outlander. So with this being a class 3 hitch, it's going to have that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. That is a super common size and a ton of different accessories will work with the hitch. It's going to also have a reinforced collar for some extra strength. And it's going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included. But if you need one, you can grab it here at eTrailer. You have plate style safety chain openings, uh, which aren't huge, but they are nice and solid. And they'll give us more than enough room to use just about any size hook that we might have. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's going to have some pretty high ratings. For the maximum gross tongue weight rating, that's going to be 350 pounds, and that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. So that's good for those one to four bike racks, just to give you an example. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 3,500 pounds. That's going to be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that is the weight of your trailer, plus anything that you might have on it. Now I do suggest never a bad idea just to grab your Mitsubishi's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Outlander Sport can pull up much weight safely. And if you do plan on doing some towing, whenever you're pulling your trailer down the road, you are going to want the lights to work. So in order to achieve that, you can pick up some trailer wiring. That way you'll be safe and legal. Grab a tape measure and take a couple of measurements. You go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. That's going to be right at 13 and a half inches. So if you do plan on towing, chances are pretty good. You're going to need to get a ball mount with a rise. If you go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the very edge of our rear bumper, that's going to be right at about two inches. We kind of talked about this earlier, but uh, you can use that measurement to find out exactly if any of those folding accessories you do have can be stored in that upright position without hitting the back of your Mitsubishi. So at the end of the day, uh, to be honest, probably my favorite hitch available for the Outlander Sport. Having that two inch by two inch opening is gonna allow us to use pretty much any accessory that we want. And I think out of the hitches available, uh, it's gonna look the best as far as the appearance goes. Now, as far as the installation, uh, it's really not too bad, not uh, a whole lot involved. You do have to remove a tow bracket, which is really easy to get to. But other than that, I mean, the hitch more or less just kind of bolts right up. So shouldn't take you a whole lot of time or give you a whole lot of issues. Speaking of which, let's go ahead, pull into the shop and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be working here underneath the back of our Outlander. And the first thing that we need to do is remove this factory tow hook here on the passenger side frame rail. So if you look at our bracket here, it's gonna be held in place by two bolts, one there and one there. So we need to pull those out using a 14 millimeter socket. Lower this down and set it off to the side as we will not be reinstalling it. 
So these two holes here that were used for our tow hook, these are actually gonna be two of our attachment points. And so we can get some hardware in there. And what you're gonna do is take these long carriage bolts and this uh, spacer block here, put the carriage bolts through it. You wanna make sure that the square part of the bolt is gonna sit flush onto the block like that. And what we're gonna do, coming from the outside in, is push them all the way through. And then what I like to do is just kind of get the bolts back flush. That way when we put the hitch up, they're not gonna interfere and we can slide this uh, right into the hitch. With that being said, I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side, because it'll be set up the same way. And from this point on, anything we do to this side, we're also gonna do to the other side as well. We are gonna have one more attachment point that we're gonna to use to hold our hitch up. And I'd just like to go over that before we actually, you know, put our hitch into position. And it's gonna be this threaded well nut in the frame right there. What I suggest doing is spraying it out with some penetrating oil. Just use a brush to clean any debris that may be in the threads. And the hardware that we're gonna use, it's gonna be this bolt with a conical tooth washer. And once the hitch is up there, you wanna make sure that the teeth on the washer are gonna face up towards the hitch. And then this is simply just gonna thread right into place. So now with the next set of hands, we can grab our hitch and raise it into position. You wanna kinda of angle it towards the driver's side first and get it close. Then we can kinda of push up on our passenger side we're holding it there what I like to do is just take our bolts there just push them through and that'll be enough to kind of hold our hitch up while we work on the rest of the hardware so now that the hitch is up and we have our large bolts pushed through you can take the flange nut and get these started on each one of our carriage bolts So once we get all of our hardware in place and hand tight, we can go ahead and snug them all up. For this one, we're gonna use a 17 millimeter socket. And for our large flange nuts, we're gonna use a three quarter inch socket. With everything tight, we need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Curt Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport.